Hey guys and gals, Malkuth 1974 back at you with another episode of our Apollo missions for KSP or Kerbal Space Program using the Mission Controller mod, my mod that I have made and created with my own hands. Anyway, today we'll be doing Apollo 9. The Apollo 9 mission was the first manned flight of an Apollo lunar hardware in Earth orbit with the actual module. So in this episode, we actually have to build the module. So let's get out of this thing. We've accepted the mission, and now we're off to build the module. And again, like last mission, we're not going to spend a whole hell of a lot of time on this. Kind of went through a different, a few different configurations and decided that the TCAN is still the best option for this. It's, it's, it's not too heavy, but it's also not too light. And it seems to fit in a 2 millimeter configuration pretty or 2.5 millimeter configuration pretty well uh, in this example I'm gonna have it act just like the actual Apollo lander where it's two stages uh, you got the full stage where it lands and then when it takes off it will leave the landing legs and its previous fuel supply on the ground uh, for the last stage of this I'm going to use the actual um, RCS engines to get it up in space and we can tell that we have quite a lot of uh, Delta V for this vessel of course it's gonna change a little bit uh, when we add more stuff to it so we're just gonna keep building this thing up keep getting it going and everything will be awesome yeah if you guys want to know a, a few facts about the actual Apollo 9 mission uh, the, com uh, the commander was James A. McDivitt uh, command module pilot, which is important for this mission, was David R. Scott. And the lunar module pilot, who actually is important for this mission, was Russell L. What are you, Schweikart? Schweikart, Schweikart, hey, sweetheart. How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? So anyway, yeah, so we can tell we're just trying to get some uh, landing legs. I, I tried a few different landing legs on here, and I like these, but unfortunately, tweak scale didn't kind of work for them. Looks like a giant robot. And I usually end up, I kind of want to make the profile small for, uh, you know, the, the fairings will fit around it and they won't bulge out too much because we're using procedural fairings on this. And that's pretty much what I'm just trying to decide what to do with this now. Get the legs on there. I do end up testing this. I'll, I won't I won't show how I test it. Of course, we need the ladder for the guys who can get down. You know, for Jebediah, he's going to be the Apollo 11 commander on here kind of like Neil Armstrong was the commander and put some lights on here and we definitely want some lights on the bottom of it for our landing lights because the moon can get kind of dark every once in a while and so we'll send that up we'll kind of set them up and I'm going to use tweak scale to, sh to shrink them down a little bit maybe yeah there we go that'll work yeah that'll work why not and last but not least, we still need to put a few finishing touches on here. Of course, we need a battery supply, and we need our actual docking port to actually uh, do this. And I decided to use, uh, I don't know if this is going to end up being good or bad, but our solar panels would be on the top and the sides. And I do a few more configurations here and there to where I want the solar panels, how I want them to go. Uh, this is, of course, you know, this is just a prototype, and this is what this mission is about. The Apollo 9 is to test this and make sure the command module and the lunar module can actually hook up in space without any any major dealings here. So there we go. There's the, there's the first test lunar module. Let's get to uh, the actual attaching it to the vessel. Now, when I say the Apollo mission, this is the first, the, the full configuration. That means we have to set this up in basically what we are going to actually launch to the moon. But I am going to, I am going to jip it a little bit on the engines and uh, the fuel because we don't really need to bring all that fuel because we are not going to a lunar orbit. We're just going to Kerbin uh, orbit. Now, if you notice, I just grabbed the lander out of uh whatever you call that thing we can put pre-made parts in and i had to take a few of the parts off to actually make it work for it to have an attachable parts so i don't know wh why it comes up with that but it's kind of weird so you can see we have the basic you know this is the configuration of the apollo 
Uh, it doesn't look exactly like Apollo, but we got the command pod on top, and we got the lunar module on the bottom. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna have some fairings to you know you'll have to blow them off, and uh, I will have that ring in the middle and. I have done this configuration before. I, when I tested uh, the Mission Controller uh, mod before, I actually did the same configuration. That's probably why I know what I'm building, because it's just kind of quick, kind of just doing everything. So that ring is going to be a problem when we try to dock the command module with the Luna module. But it's something I, I figured out how to handle a while ago. You just kind of got to bump it out of the way, and everything will be okay. And just getting the fairings all set. I think it looks great. Me personally, I think this 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 one this is one of my best ones I've done so far. And you know, I got to get the everything set up right and you know, everything's going great. We just got to basically add all the bottom stuff and we're not going to get totally into this. So let's just get to the launch where we can get things going and we'll show the finished product at launch. There we go. So there is sort of the Apollo in its full configuration. Uh, the engines are going to be a little bit bigger in the actual lunar version and we'll go from there. So let's just launch this baby and get going. The actual uh, Apollo 9 oh, sorry uh, I had a brain fart there. The actual Apollo 9 mission was launched without any real problems. You guys want to know the actual? This is the first mission, and uh, I figured I'd try to give you guys a little bit more facts here on the Apollo missions. I know the last episode I didn't really talk about the Apollo missions that much, but uh, kind of rusty on it myself anyway. But the actual the lunar module is called Spider, and uh, the command module was called the Gumdrop. And believe it or not, in uh, this is the first time in the Apollo missions that they were allowed to uh, name the command module and the lunar module. Obviously the the lunar module wasn't on any of the other ones, but hey, that's that's what we go, that's what we do. There we go. So we just keep on launching up, launching up. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Let's go. Get up there. Get up in space. Now in this mission, in the uh, in the mission controller mission, uh, I I didn't put the EVA. Now in the real mission, uh, they conducted a 37 minute EVA. I believe I believe it was who was it? Uh, yeah, it was Schweckart Sh or Schweckart Schweckart. And they actually separated the lunar module. They uh, they simulated a lunar man uh, uh, landing. I believe it was about 30 minutes or was it? No, it was six hours. Six hours. And they got separated by about 113. Now we're not going to do any of that in here. All we really want to do in the, this, in our version of Apollo 9, is to make sure everything works. The separation works. The um, the fairing separate okay. Uh, we can get the lunar module to hook up fine and dandy. If you notice, I am missing something on my command module. It's probably hard to see right now. But trust me, it's not there. <laughs> and that is the RCS. Remember last time I talked about the RCS and how we sort of needed that to uh, get anything done? Well, it's not there. So I have to do basically use the regular engines to uh, do this whole thing. And that is never a good thing with uh, using super fast engines like that. Well, in case of, uh, you know rocket fuel engines it's not usually a good idea to do that stuff so yeah whatever right now we're just kind of leveling out our uh, orbit again this mission calls for an achieve an orbit of 250,000 and to orbit around Kerbin dock with another vessel which is uh, actually the lunar um, lander uh, same basically crew of three and then we have to land on Kerbin and you have to have the docking port, solar panels, electric car charge greater than 400. So everything's cool. So let's see that. Okay, so we're blowing the fairings now and the lunar module separated from the uh, the second stage. Of course, this is a little bit different than the actual Apollo mission. The Apollo mission, the lunar module stayed with the second stage and you had to actually go into it and grab it. But 
In this case, this works just as much. As you can tell, we still have the, the separator ring in between the command module and the lunar module, so we do have to separate that, and it will be in between us, as we can show right here. So I'm going to turn this baby around, and I don't have RCS, as you can tell, so I'm going to have to use the engines. I just turn them on, and all I'm going to do is twist it a little bit, and just bump it. Of course, this is Kerbal Space Program, so we can do crazy crap like this, because this is what Kerbals actually do. Now, if this was done in real life, it would probably be a very bad, bad thing, because uh, stuff doesn't like to get bumped in space. So there we go. I still managed to get the command module attached to a lunar module. I'm noticing a problem with the lights here, that they're flickering on the... Um, command, I mean the Luda module, and I figured it was because of the bottom lights, and I was correct. I wish I had my action keys, but I still don't have the technology to do that. And I could buy it right now, but I'm trying to save up for I can uh, upgrade my uh, my research center for I can start getting the bigger parts, and I have so many research points already. I got like 3,000 saved up that I've been doing, so yeah, we need to uh, actually do this. Anything else we can learn about the Apollo 9? Of course, it was the first test of the lunar module in space. Uh, they, it was the first test of a portable life support system in space. Uh, the rendezvous and docking after six hours and 113 mile separation in space. Uh, Schwarzkart performed the 37 minute EVA. Uh, a D mission, so the D in McDivitt on the mission patch had a red interior which signified the D mission. So that's kind of interesting if you guys look at the patch for that. Uh, the, the space vehicle weight at liftoff was six, six wow, was it really? 6,397,005 pounds. Uh, weight placed in Earth orbit was 292,000 pounds or 132, point, 132, point, 132 kilos. Yeah, there we go. So it's not a big mission, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't all that, all that awesome or anything like that. It 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 performed pretty much flawlessly. If you guys can look up the Luna module, actually looks a little bit different in uh, the Apollo Nine. Uh, it doesn't have that that classic gold plating. It looks like it has actually red uh, around it. Of course, they they probably skimped on a lot of the stuff because. Just like me, they didn't need to actually do a lunar landing, so that never happened. So here we go, landing on Kerbin, and I actually hit, <laughs> I actually hit Kerbal Space Center yet again. Now, of course, I'm doing this right from a Kerbin orbit. Uh, doing it from a moon orbit is a lot harder, and it won't happen most likely, unless I really wanted to try. I might try it on. Uh, Maybe Apollo 13, because I've already, I've already, I've already done the Apollo 10 mission, so I already know what happened. Again, this is all recorded after the fact, because you know that's how you do Kerbal Space Program. It's kind of hard to actually do a Let's Play like you do in Minecraft and stuff like that, because it just takes so you know, uh, getting from the space into space can take you know five or six minutes just by itself. So everything gets sped up, and that's how everything works. So for now, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Malkuth 1974. Actually, we do have, I think, a little bit more time. Let's check out some stuff here. So, <laughs> this little situation, I couldn't quite figure it out. I thought it was maybe the uh, the autopilot part of it, but unfortunately, I was like having issues because it's. If you notice, the pod is moving around, and in game terms, if your pod's moving around, it's not considered stop. So I had issues with that. And we got everything. You can see all my money. All everything that happened here. 2817886. We're all set. Everything's good. So, as always, guys, this is Malkuth1974. See you later. Malkuth out.